Welcome to today's version of Convertible Conversations. It's just a beautiful September day here in Kansas. It's a good day. How do you decide what's good? How do you decide if a person is good or not? How do you decide if God is good or not? I've said this many times myself and certainly been involved in church settings where we say God is good all the time. Well, how do you decide God is good? Let me ask you this. Can somebody be good who punishes people who disagree with them? You ever had somebody punish you at school, maybe? Ever had to stand in a corner when you were in grade school? Or I have a friend who had to wear the dunce cap, and it affected him. It still affects him to this day, and he's my age. Ever have to write a hundred times, I did a bad thing? Ever been punished in athletics, you know, had to done raps, run laps, or in the military have to do push-ups if somebody disagrees with you or you disagree with them and they're over you? Now, you can argue that those things produce good character. And at times, done in the right way for the right reason, they can. But what about just punishment because people don't agree with you? We live where I live in America. Some of you watching this around the world. But in America, we have what we call a free country. We have free speech. Uh, And what people say publicly or write or record or whatever may not be true. It may be racist. It may be homophobic. Uh, But we don't punish people for not agreeing with us. Our country doesn't punish people, at least not overtly, for disagreeing with us. Some other countries do. And in America, we call that a violation of human rights. That's not good. So how about God? Is it okay for God to punish people who don't agree with him, who don't believe what he believes? How about punish them disproportionately, like punish them in hell forever, like a place that never ends and God would supposedly, according to some people, just supernaturally keep people alive so that he could torture them and literally burn them in the most excruciating punishment forever just for not believing in him or just for doing one sin, as some people teach. A punishment that far exceeds the offense. How about that? Can you call a God who would do that good? Now, Religious people, and I used to do this, say, well, God is good, and he's God, and he's got to punish people who break his rules forever, and he's the one who gets to define good, and since he says he's good, then he's good, even if he does bad things. I used to believe that. You know what? <laughs> it's a lie. God, <clears throat> God and God's reputation have been horribly uh, betrayed by religion. And I've done that myself. God is totally good. He is absolutely good. And he is absolutely for you. And he doesn't punish anyone. Now, the wages of sin is death. The bad decisions that we make, the wrong things that we do, they will punish us. But that's not God punishing us. I used to teach, and many religious people teach, that God is going to judge you, and your judgment is going to be bad, and you're going to be punished forever. Well, the original words for judgment that the Bible was written in actually have nothing to do with a penalty or with punishment. God's idea of justice, judging, is making all things right for everyone, which he did at the cross. God did judge us, and he judged us all right, righteous right with him. He is all good. So don't let anybody tell you that, well, God is good, but he's going to get you. He's going to punish you. There's going to be a penalty. There's going to be bad things because you did this or did that or didn't believe this or didn't believe that. You know, thinking people have realized that for years now, and that's why so many people have left the church, and they should have, because of teaching like that that just doesn't make sense and doesn't resonate with what's true within them. So, just wanted to kind of get that off my chest today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And remember, God is good. He's all good, and he is for you. You can take that to the bank. See you next time.